Hey, how you doing? So today we're doing defend the fort. We've got two forts, one there and one there, which if you're interested in the technicalities, is actually just our gargar ball pit, which is an octagon split in two pieces. So we've got two squares rather than one octagon. And um, <clears throat> I'm filling this one up with balloons right now. A ton of balloons here, and they'll be being split between the two forts. There's two teams. This team has defenders and attackers. Of that team will have defenders and attackers. And the defenders of that fort need to get all of the balloons out of their fort. And the defenders of this fort will need to get all the uh, balloons out of that fort. So you've got to get the balloons out of your fort. But then the attackers have to try and get, say from this team, need to get their balloons from their fort into the opponent's fort. So the team with the most balloons in their fort at the end loses. So that's simple, but isn't it always the simple games that work really well? It is uh, ridiculously good fun. Everybody enjoys it. And uh, who can resist playing with balloons, even if you're a teenager, eh? <laughs> This game because the multi packs of balloons just come jumbled, we've just put them in the forts jumbled too. But today, I'm trying something new. Today, I'm going to try putting certain colors in one fort and certain colors in the other fort so it makes it a little bit easier to determine, say, if all the blues and greens are on this side and all the yellows and reds are on the other side. It's going to make it easier to see who has managed to most successfully get their balloons into the opponent's ones. Bit of a twist on a classic. So as these start to fill up with balloons, slowly but surely, I'll get there before I run out of puff. These little forts, like I say, it's just half of our gaga ball pit. I designed this so that it just slots together like this, um, which is good. It's been really convenient um, because it means one person can set it up. It means you can set it up really quickly and easily, and it packs away really quickly. But we have had a couple of um, incidents where here you can see part of the. Um, Part of the retainers actually snapped off. Now they are safe, they're still fine to use, um, but it just obviously limits uh, the lifetime of this uh, Gaga Ball pit. So the cool thing is, down here in our cupboard, uh, I've ordered eight brand new sheets of ply for us to use. And uh, well, I ordered four sheets of ply and had them cut in half. But there, look, look at these beautiful things. Um, here, four brand new ones, and uh, these are slightly thicker, they're better quality. Uh, here you can see this is 12 mil ply, whereas the ones we're using currently are 9 mil, and also this, um, Technically speaking, has got five layers, whereas the old ones had only got three layers. So I'm hoping they're stronger. I'm hoping they'll last longer. Um, that would be hugely helpful if that is actually the case. Uh, I am just questioning how I'm going to put them together. How do I want to slot them together? I think slotting might still be the easiest way. It's just that, because as you can see at the moment, they've got no cuts on them at all. Uh, they are just eight foot by two foot sheets i'm sure my regular viewers those of you who are kind enough to endure me on a regular basis um would have seen the gaga ball being played as the actual game if not let's put the picture of it here Ding! it's a proper fun game it's really really good and basically everybody loves playing it and if you say yeah let's play that for 10 minutes you'll be playing it for 20 minutes if you say yeah we'll do it for 15 minutes you'd probably be playing it for half an hour um when i so that footage i just showed you was from me 
uh, helping or our local team helping to train the larger team at the summer camp how to play gargoyle ball and um, that was just supposed to be like a training session that might happen for like 30 minutes they played for an hour and a half uh, <laughs> it's kind of addictive it's a great game um, but I found out a bit online through looking at different like youth work blogs and stuff and um, the funny thing was uh, you can buy gargoyle ball pits um, which is great, especially if you're someone that's selling Gaga Ball Pits because they were on sale for like $3,000 or $4,000, it was incredible. So um, yeah, this slotted wooden design, it cost me 70 quid. Uh, I'm happy with that. I think you get the gist of what I'm down here to do today. Um, if you have been, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have a solution for how you would put these gargoyle pits together without slotting them, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week. See you next Thursday. All the very best. Goodbye. <laughs>